What's happening, viewers and viewettes? This is your boy, Big Mike, coming at you again. Um, it's Easter Sunday, 2020, and I want to wish everybody a happy Easter, and I hope everybody's making out well from the virus. Um, this should be all over soon, uh, we hope, and um, hope everybody gets through it unscathed. So, what I'm going to talk about today is a paranormal topic. Uh, something I haven't really done lately, and I miss doing, but I wanted to talk about um, something that I knew a little bit about or, or gathered enough information on. Now, I'm kind of going past my own uh, rules here a little bit, because instead of talking about a specific event tied to these things, um, I'm going to be talking about the... the um, a phenomena as a general topic uh, because they fascinate me to be honest and there's still not much known about these things uh, as a matter of fact when it comes to paranormal stuff in my opinion I think these things are like one of the very least talked about paranormal phenomena so uh, that's why it kind of fascinates me so, what I'm going to be talking about is a phenomenon called flying rods. You'll see pictures here. Now, what flying rods are, nobody knows. But there's several different theories as to what they could be or what they are. Um, the most common theory is that these things are just an uh, undiscovered species of insect. Um, and as you can see by the pictures, there seems to be several different types of them. Um, there's ones that look just like a stick with wings poking out. And then there's others that look like you draped a dryer sheet over a stick. And it's got these fluttering little wings or something on the side. Um, there's, they've been showing up in pictures and videos for, I'm going to say, roughly 40, maybe 50 years. Um, and they're, they're kind of weird looking. They're neat looking, but they're kind of weird. Um, another theory is that these things are just distortions in the camera from when a regular old insect, like a fly or a bee or something, flies by the camera and they're going so fast that the camera cannot react properly to it. So it kind of leaves like a distorted, streaky look to it. Um, my theory about that, though, is I've seen slow motion videos of these things and freeze framed pictures. They don't undistort, if you understand what I'm saying. They don't. Go back to a regular bug or anything like that. Um, and then the two different types, you know, that, that tells me, you know, it can't be just a regular insect. Thirdly, and the most paranormal, I guess you'd say, of the theories, um, is that these are interdimensional creatures. Um that theory comes from videos that I've actually seen. They're hard to find because I tried on YouTube. But there, um, there's videos out there that seemingly shows these things just appearing out of the midair. And then flying past the camera. And then disappearing again while still on frame, in frame. Uh, so it's not like they're coming in like my hand, you know, out of frame and then going over here. They're still in frame when they disappear. Uh, so, like I said, that, le that leads a lot of people to believe that they are interdimensional um, creatures of some kind. My opinion, again, is that they're just an undiscovered species of insect. Um, these pictures... You know, you got to tell me what you think about them. Um, they're awesome looking. I'd like to do a little bit more uh, research into them. I may want to try and set up a camera when it gets nice and warm out. Um, 
to see if I capture any of these things on camera and, um, you know, just see what I can see. So that's it for this video today. I think I'm going to be going live later on tonight. Um, I don't know yet, but we'll check back later on. So I appreciate everybody stopping by. And again, hope everybody has a safe and happy Easter.